Come on, this is your chance to introduce your the film. So, so everyone, really you're about to watch... Gemma and Elliot's Brexit, a Boats and Hose film. On YouTube. <laughs> we hope you enjoy it, don't we? Yeah. As much as Gemma enjoyed coming fishing with me. It was absolute pure hell, so watch the full film to find out how Elliot survived. Despite me going fishing nearly every single week for the last decade or so that I've been with Gemma, I'd never taken her. She'd never held a rod, she'd never held a carp, she'd never done anything, she'd never been fishing. But she would often sit next to Bridger in the office and say to him that if she ever did go fishing, she could easily catch a bigger carp than him. And one day I thought, that would be funny, wouldn't it? Imagine that, imagine if we could pull that off. So. With that in mind, I decided to take Gemma fishing with the aim of catching her a bigger carp than Bridger had ever caught in his life. Hello, Gem. <laughs> Hi, my name's Gemma. <laughs> Have you ever been in front of a camera before? No, not on the set. Uh, no, not really. Elliot done like an at-home vlog, didn't he? In lockdown. He just irritated the hell out of me for a couple of weeks. Yeah, well, you were about to go fishing with him. I know. So, how does that feel? Elliot, you, you, you've you never even been fishing me? before, have you? Never been fishing. Well, I've been a couple of times. I popped down to see him at a lake, like when he's fish local, and I think I've done an overnight on with him before. But I don't remember it, so it can't have been that good. <laughs> but Standard. you are about to go soon. I know. And you're going abroad. Yep. You looking forward to that? I think so. I'm not looking forward to the long drive, but I don't know. First time for everything. Oh, I am quite funny. <laughs> That's one of the things I'm bringing to the trip, ain't it, Finn? Sense of humour. <laughs> Whoa, why are you so close to me? <laughs> so you'd be filmed? I'm not being filmed that close. Look, mate, we've got a few <laughs> rules to set because this is... I'm trying to eat my yoghurt. Elliot, I mean it. Piss off. God, I'm literally <laughs> dreading this. <laughs> four days of it. Oh, fucking honestly. It's going to be the end of us. Told you I should have got sponsored by OMC. You've got to stick to quarter. Yeah, battle of the brands as well. Yeah, exactly. It's because you're quarter wise, that mean I have to be. <laughs> <laughs> right, so what is it like being around Elliot and Gemma in the office? Well, I spend a lot more time with Gem, luckily. Um, Elliot is, what's the phrase? Turbo. Um, anything that, even if it's right, it has to be changed. Um, Gemma, on the other hand, is one of the messiest office uh, people I've ever met. She likes to sprawl her stuff over the desk. She listens to really bad podcasts, and I often hear her giggling to herself. And when I ask what it's about, it's normally something like Pete the Pirate from Love Island has done something really funny, which is pretty annoying. Um, but yeah, life at Sippy is great, but you need to have the right Gemma Elliot balance, uh, which sometimes we don't get right, and that's why Elliot goes fishing. We're all going on a summer holiday. Huh? So annoying. Are you excited? Yeah? How excited are you? I'm actually looking forward to taking you. Do you know one thing I feel nervous about? What? We have never been on a trip where you have planned the whole thing. Oh, I'm not too bad. Well, we only decided where we were going two days ago. Yeah. Other than that, you just got to drive there. There's not a lot to it, so. Yeah. All right. Let's go, honey. Let's go. Oh, I'm dreading it. I'm literally dreading it. The fact of not being able to like shower for four days or go to the toilet. I asked Elle the other day if they do like travel potties for adults. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to that bit, but I don't know. It's all part of the adventure, isn't it? Do you think Gemma will be able to put up Elliot for a whole trip? Elliot is 
When he's fishing, Elliot almost changes completely. He He's very one track minded and he does things until they are perfect. And I think Gemma is going to see a side of Elliot that, well, she probably knows exactly what he's like all the time, but when he's fishing, he goes super turbo. And when I say turbo, I mean everything has to be perfect continuously, and he'll be getting her up in the middle of the night, first thing in the morning, and she'll be doing exactly what he says. The many moods of Elliot Gray already this morning. I'm traveling, what, three and a half hours? You've been happy, you've been sad, you've been grumpy. Where else have you been? Tired. Sleepy. You've been all the dwarfs this morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's just get there now. Might go back to sleep. Yeah, I'm sure you will. <laughs> you can't moan at me, fella. That is the only reason I am going, and I have agreed to do this, is, yeah, to beat Mike Bridges' personal best. It's got to be done. Do I think Gemma can beat my PB? Well, my PB ain't big. Um, and on the grand scheme of it, a 46 pound carp in France is small, isn't it? He's set me the challenge now. I can't, I can't back out or fail. <laughs> and you've even got a chance of beating Elliot's as well. Could you imagine if I actually beat Els? That would make my year. This is what I'm not happy about as well, right? So, Els tying Gemma's rigs, which is bang out of order, because I'd like Elliot to tie my rigs, if that's the case because um, his rigs are pretty nice, you know? Um, but I'm a bit scared, yeah, I'm not going to lie, because he's a determined little git and he was going to take us somewhere with big and I know he is. When Elliot brings Seven from Hell home, or, or even when he's used it when he's fishing, it is revolting. Right, Jim, so do you want to know what I've noticed? Oh, what? In the back of the car, I've got 10 kilos of no. raw marine. Oh, right. Um, which actually has seven ml liquid no, in it. No, it don't. Yeah, it does. Is that what that smell is? Yeah, do you want to get in the van? Because <laughs> it seems to have... Are you got... joking? No. The minute I opened that, I could smell something really bad. I'm meant to be using Cremino. I haven't got any of that. <laughs> Are you joking? I haven't. I didn't have it. I told you the other day. Hell. I haven't got none, babe. I'm not doing it. <laughs> not... It's actually leaking through now. You're a joke. Hate. I can't believe you've just done that to me. I didn't do it to you. It's just, I had, that's the bait I had. Can you smell it in here? Yeah. Well, I definitely can, yeah. You're right, an we'll, idiot. We'll be, we'll, be, we'll get out in eight hours anyway, so. Thank <laughs> you so much. I'm really trying to be nice to you. Trying not to hate you too soon. Just open your window. Oh yeah. Will Gemma be able to put up with Elliot for a whole trip? Probably not. If she likes drinking lake water, stale food, uh, probably not eating a lot at all, uh, sleep deprivation, um, things like that, she might enjoy it. But I think she might struggle. Luckily, they're only doing a couple of days, but if it was a week, I'd say not a chance in hell she'd be able to keep up with him for the week. Do you want me to speak a bit of French? You can try. I'll try. So, Gemma Pell, Gemma. Very well done, I like it. <laughs> I'm sure you'll learn along the way. Hopefully. I've got a question. Oh, I've got a question for you. Go on. How would you pronounce that word up there? Friend pricks. <laughs> so I'd say it French. Yeah. Friend prick. I would say Fran Pri. Been here before. It's no, just wondered. Are you marking me off? <laughs> have we got to put in a ticket? Yeah, put your ticket in and then the card. Oh, I wasn't Where supposed is to say that. You had it. Ah, oh, right, right, right. Have you got your leg up? Quid? Yeah, it's not cheap. I want a receipt. Been 230 oh. kilometres or something. It's quite expensive. No, come on, quick, let's go. Look, don't need to try and embarrass yeah. me, I smashed it. What's it like on the other end? What's it like being a fisherman's wife? Well, it works for us. I mean, probably one of the reasons we have managed to stay together for 11 years. Um, 
But then some of my friends also think I'm absolutely crazy having a husband that goes away half the week. But it's something we've always known. Ever since I got with Elliot, he has been full-time fisherman. <laughs> He'll kill me for saying that. Um, so yeah, it's just what we're used to, I suppose. Four nights a week. He'll, he'll tell everyone three, but it's usually four. Yeah, you've let it out there a bit, ain't you? I have. He usually likes to play it down a bit. He just goes like a couple of nights a week, but we all know that it's longer. And yeah, he does like to push it a bit, but I'm used to it. It's fine. So the most frustrating thing about fishing with Elliot Gray is uh, the constant lies. That's quite, um, that gets you down after a while. If you say, have you seen anything, Elliot? He'll quite often say no. When you've both obviously seen the same fish together, he'll, um, if he finds a spot, he'll then cast the lead onto that spot between three to 400 times to make sure that spot is what he first thought it was. Um, he'll, he'll starve you. Um, you don't eat until maybe midnight. Um, breakfast is not a thing. Um, he doesn't make much tea or coffee. Um, it's quite a lot of things really, but I feel like him having to be right is going to crack the pair of them. Are you going to go um, find, <laughs> find us a place to go, set up the tent and come back for me? No, we're going together. Come on, Nate, get. How's it going to work? I've got to go and have a look about. <sighs> Shall I take my pillow? No. <laughs> I don't know what the plan is. I need more. I don't want to get stuck. I'm so stiff all that driving. Right, what's going through your head? First thoughts? Well, it's like I've just pulled up to a forest for a dog walk. Yeah, I can give you that. It's like a river over there. I'm guessing it's quite That's a, a lake. big lake, yeah, but I can't see it. Um, so I need to just go past the place, really. Yeah, let's go for a see wander. See where the fish are. Ready to catch a big carp. Shut the door for me. Cheers, babe. Let's go. Mm. Oh, I'm knackered. Are you coming? <laughs> Got a little beach. Look. Should I go lie on the beach? No. Huh? No. Boring. Yeah, this is not the right lake, Jim. No, babe, it is. <laughs> Look what Mark sent. No, I'm sorry, look. I'm next to an aqua park. Look, it even says it on there. Look. Here. Don't be coming at me. Look. I've come, come to catch carp and now you're just messing me about. <laughs> it's not even okay. We're at the wrong lake. Elliot's just took us to the wrong lake. Apparently it's my fault. And now we've got to drive another hour. Well, I had two pins and I think we've gone to the wrong one, that's all. Well, we definitely have. <laughs> yeah, we definitely have, yeah. All I can see is people sailing on little boats. Oh, I'm falling off. And a water park. Let's not dwell on it. There's Let's no carp here. Let's just go. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. If you'd done this to Jim, how angry would he be right now? Elf. Very. <laughs> it's fine. I'm a reasonable person. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy to film on Please more. fall over. <laughs> oh. I did say I didn't want to go if it was raining. Um, I don't do wet weather, but we are hoping to drive far enough that, <laughs> far enough that uh, we can beat the rain just so we can get some dry weather. That was a carp. That's a big carp. Right in the middle oh, of that wave. Right. This is the way to the right. What? Can you see him? Yeah. Swimming? Where? What? What are you about, Jim? I just saw it to the right hand side of that weed. Did you? What did he do? Nothing, so it got up. What, you saw the fish? Yeah. Look back on the camera. Did you? Yeah. So I heard that clear as day coming around the corner. Fine, I did. We both heard it. Don't start getting all fucking leery. Look, mate, I'm the pro, right? Yeah, sorry. Who's the one fishing? Me. What, he come back up, did he, to the right-hand side yeah. of the weed? Literally, the right-hand side of that weed just there. Was it big? In between. Was it big? Was it? Was it right in the middle of that hole in the weed. How am I going to get to that? We'll do it with a boat. And then almost certainly have to go back out in the boat to land it. 
what? Yeah, we're losing some. Well, we can't fish at night anyway, babe, so it's, it's not funny. the end of the world. So let's just hurry up, get the boat out. All right, sorry, sorry. Come, babe, quick. Jen does not want to get wet and it's raining. Where is she? Look at it. Well, I've seen some carp, which is good. We're going to go sit in the van and watch the water. It's only shower, babe. We're fine. Yeah, that's good. Right, I'm going to drive the van, see if I can get to this pin. Catch up with you soon. Mother Teresa's in the van now. We'd arrived at the lake with little time to spare. It was getting dark. We only had a few hours probably on our side, as is often the case when I travel abroad. You know, you lose a day traveling, you get there, you've got a few hours of light. But those hours of light that you have are so important and you need to put yourself in as good a position as you can from the word go. Time is of the essence, as it always is, but even more so when you're traveling a long way and you don't have a lot of time on your hands, which is exactly the case for this trip. Right, so come up with a plan. Over there in the corner is where we've seen a definite carp show in that weed bed. So that's a guarantee. We're going to go and bait that in a minute. And then we're going to stay in this little area here, get the beds out, have a barbecue, have some food, because Gemma's hungry again. She's eating loads today. But from here, I can see all this open water out in front of us. And one thing I keep seeing is rings. I don't think they're carp. They might be small carp. But I can see this whole end of the lake. So we'll fish here in the morning. We'll go and fish where that bait is. We can still see this whole end from fishing where we've pre-baited. Fish here till say midday or so. And if nothing happens, there's some guys up the other end I know have been catching, they're going. So we'll drop straight in behind them. We've got two and a bit days. So we've got to do everything we can. So that's the plan. Have some grub, get some bait in, watch the water. And then probably do the same thing again in the morning, but include the old process of actually getting some rods out because it is uh, days only here, so that's the plan. And here comes Gemma. Come in, bub. I am cold, I am hungry. Come and give me a cuddle then. Oh. Come and watch the water with me. No, we're going to bait up where I saw that carp. Okay. Come on. Wasting my time, wasting precious hours. Come on. Oh. Right, you need, to, you need to get a bag of bait. It stinks so bad in there, man. You're a joke. Bag of bait and a catapult. How big? Just grab the whole bag. I took this. <laughs> You're a prick. You're an actual prick. Where's the catapult? Babe, this is a joke. I'm not sleeping in this tonight. <laughs> you can actually fuck off. There's four boxes. It's one of the little plastic boxes. <sighs> that? Yeah, is it nice and light? I don't bloody know. You need your catapult to bait up, you see? Yeah, I know. For the way you're just filming my arse, Elliot. <laughs> it has no relevance. Rate Gemma's arse out of 10. Why'd you not label them? Found it. <sighs> yeah, this. It help if they were labelled. There you go, catapult. That's it. Cauterised? Yeah, that's what you need. So grab that. And then out you get. You need that and your bait. Oh, God. Let's go. Yeah, I'm ready. You ready? Honey, I was born ready. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get lost or jumped. All right, so we're back by the weed bed. That's the weed bed we saw the fish showing earlier, right in the middle of there. And I'm pretty certain we've just seen another one. That looked like a carp to me, that one. I only rolled on the surface, but... I mean, it was something. That's fine. <laughs> I reckon it was a carp. Yeah, same. Same. Mm. You reckon? Mm. Mm. Should get some bait up. How do you even know the difference? Uh, well, I know what a carp looks like. Yeah, so. I know, but it literally popped out for like a second. It just rolled on the surface. It's, how, it's just things they do. Behaviour. Oh, OK. Seen them enough times, you see. Mm. OK. Cool, right, let's bait up. Go on in off your truck. Uh, teach me. <laughs> She's got a bag of bait and a catapult with <laughs> a girl. Well. <laughs> be careful. What do you mean, be careful? You can always help me. I'm filming you. <sighs> Am I getting down there? Just 
Let's climb. Is that wet? No. Ugh. Oh. Right. Come on, okay. come over here. Okay, okay. We're good. Right, let's bait. Pardon? I said I don't really want to touch him, so. Yep, yep, yep. She's done it, she's done it. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, sick. Right. No, babe. Exactly where I wanted it. No, that's. <laughs> That's not, that's not Elliot, good. you didn't film that bit. You could have just gone along with it. That's not far enough All right, out. film again. I'm going to do it again. How much of this we've got to put out? Uh, most of the bag. Uh, well, I might do some of it for you. Uh, <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Right, put that arm out straight. Straight arm. Your other hand doesn't want to be upside down like that, I don't think. Turn your hand round a bit, that's it. It's more natural, that's it. Put it right back beside you. Aim the catapult higher. Like that? Yeah. Oh, no. Pull, it back. Pull it back hard. I am. Really hard and then let go. Perfect. Again. No, not perfect. Why are you doing that? <laughs> it is exactly where I saw the fish hell. It's not, it's nowhere near it. Well, the I've basically bonked there. my fish on the head. You aimed somewhere completely wrong. That's beautiful. Right, everyone, um, we're going to put this bait out and then we'll see you later. Do they not need a tutorial on if how to do it? If you get hang of it in the end, I'll show you. <laughs> Otherwise, it's probably the last time you see you using a catapult. No, look, right, it's all fine. I just need to, you to put stuff in it for me. Catapult is back to front, oh, or was. Not... It was. Yeah, it's, not, right. it's not now. That's your red. Pew. Oh, exactly where I needed it. Yeah, that was better. Mm. Well done. Five kilo to go. He could just be living this other life, couldn't he, when he's fishing? I don't see him half the week, so I don't know what he's like. <laughs> Elliot's living a secret life <laughs> yeah. with his other wife and other kids no, down the fishing lake. <laughs> doesn't actually go fishing one day. He's <laughs> never been. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> How was that? Five, right, so we've got five key out. I'm tired. My arm hurts. I think I've got a blister. Look, I'm getting a blister there. It's actually really sore. Yeah. Oh, in there, right in there. Right, let's go have some food. Yeah, it's done now. Right. We've done the hard bit. Feed me. Yeah. Oh God, got to get back up here, haven't we? There we go, all baited. If she can catch a carp for me, she's done well <laughs> for her first carp ever. I feel like I should film this just in case she falls over. I feel like holding onto a branch isn't going to help me, is it? Shut up, Elliot. I can hear you sniggering behind me. <laughs> oh, you're a dickhead. Well done. Come on, Turbo. Time to wake up, babe. Told me to make you a cup of tea. Do you want a cup of tea? Do you want a thingy pot as well? Porridge pot? And a cuddle? <laughs> okay. This should get her out of bed. At least I hope it will. It's never fun getting up at the crack of dawn, but it's so important, and especially on a new venue. That window of opportunity that you get as the light breaks is your best opportunity of seeing carp most of the time. And when you know nothing about the fish, you know nothing about the lake, you know, you've got to be up. Whether you want to be or not, whether you're tired or not, you have to be up at the crack of dawn. What's your thoughts then? Well, we haven't seen anything yet. Yeah, but I'll be, so I mean, the morning, the rolling mist. I was expecting to light. see fish like jump out and everything. But yeah, it's pretty. It's, it's nice, isn't it's, it? Yeah. You actually said that off your own back to me. That's I what did. I asked. I yeah. did. It's just a bit cold at the minute. Not for long. Um, and it was a bit early this morning. <laughs> you, were, but... you were up very late. Right, so boat is loaded. How am I getting in that? Uh, you're going to climb down and I'm going to lift you into it because I've got the waders on. <laughs> God. Do it romantically. I will. Go on then, down you go. Or shall I meet you down there? Yeah, meet me down there. I'll meet you down there. <laughs> Can you hurry up and get in? I feel like I'm going to sink. Remember the stuff behind you, don't knock it off, all right? Yeah, all right. Can we hurry up and go? You're only... 
<laughs> seven feet from the bank. <laughs> this is literally terrifying. Can we get this over and done with? All right. Take my camera. I want to feel the excitement of catching a fish that Elliot describes to me and what I see in all the films. I want to feel that buzz. So, fingers crossed, I can catch a carp. You set this up to be so differently to what it is. You made out it'd be all lovely. And I'm literally sitting on a bit of mud <laughs> and some weeds. It's slippery, it's smelly. I thought I was going to be on some nice, well, it is a nice lake, but with my little tent, with my bed, watching Gossip Girl, and I'm li this is slumming it. This is carp fishing, bro. Big carp fishing. You wanted to catch a big carp, yeah? <sighs> yeah. So only a couple of days. I knew I should listen to Tom. He said it's this not that bad carp. either. Like you got a bit of there's a log down here. Do you like logs? <laughs> this is rank. All right, well, we'll move the bed right down to the grass out if you quickly, want. So I can at least catch a big car. Right, yeah, let's do that. Let's get the rods out. The quicker I catch one, the quicker I can go home. All right, let's get the rods out. Give us a big smile. It'll all be worth it. Are you going to ask Elliot any questions? No, I don't think so. Well, maybe at some point. Um, how excited he is to spend four days with me in his natural habitat. I can imagine it'd be quite nice. Obviously. There'd be plenty of people that would love to spend four days with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do a couple of practice lowers because you've never actually used a rod before, have you? No. You're gonna, this is off, right? Yeah. This is loose, so it does that. See, it spins? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna swing it like that. And as it's going down, just turn until you feel it, you go donk on the bottom. Yeah. Okay, so have a little practice. Never been fishing before, so I can't imagine you have, but have you ever tried in the garden casting one of Elliot's <laughs> rods or? Uh, no, and I only really know what this all means because I've watched some <laughs> YouTube videos. Um, but no, I literally have no idea. So Elliot is literally going to have to teach me from scratch. That's to lower my rigging. Yeah, but you've got to go backwards quite smooth, okay? So lift it up, a bit higher. Right, just try and keep try and keep your arm free and a bit out to the side, so yeah. it's not. Right, so s sort of swing it out, yeah. and then reel backwards. Donk. There you go, and you can see it on the bottom. Look. Yeah. You see it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, so pick it back up, and we'll go for the main drop. Actually, Arthur's been fishing more than I have. He's even done his first overnight session. So, yeah. I've got to compete with my four-year-old. <laughs> oh, God. Reel it backwards, reel backwards, reel backwards, reel backwards. Keep going. That's it, stop. Sweet. Open the up back arm. Right, now grab the boilies. Let me hold this a sec. Throw them down. Like, like, when we move, you have no idea where we are. Me look, it's there. Boat. It's there, look. Right, exactly where I fall. Right there. You're literally turning me. Yeah, because, yeah, because, we, we, because, we, because we're drifting. That's it, spread some along the back of the weed and that'll do. So just go a little scatter along the back of this weed. Yeah, and all the way around, dink, dink, dink. Quicker is better. Okay, Elliot. Shut up. And over there, okay, that's that edge, that's it. One more little handful and we're done. No, over there. Oh. Just like to feed him. Yep. That's it, that'll do. So okay, hold the rod like that, and just with one of your fingers, just so the line under hardly any tension can come yeah. out. If it gets stuck, you'll move the lead, and that's bad. Yeah. So I'm going to take us quite quickly through this weed. Just point the rod to it, where it is. That's it. That's it, keep it like that. Right, so we've got a rod out fishing into that weed bed. It's all good, the bait's been eaten and whatnot, but we've had a little bit of a change of plan, haven't we, Gem? Gem has used her uh, yeah. watercraft and stuff to make a, make a different call, so. I feel like we should be in a different space where we're just gonna stay for the full day rather than keep moving about, or we'll just get all four rods out. So we're gonna move up the bank. To a bigger space. Yeah, spread them right out. Yeah. 
because we haven't seen anything here this morning either, have we? Fuck all. But apparently I've just spoke to him, mate, and he said they don't really show her a lot in the morning, that he's seen, see her more in the evening, and just get your rods out, spread them about. Yeah. And there should be bites on the cards, so. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna move over to the other side of the lake and just crack on. What no, we're not going to move to the other side, we're going to move just further up oh, the I'm bank. We're going over there, aren't we? No. Where I was yesterday? Yeah, that's not the other side of the lake, though. Your <laughs> bearings are so no bad. Bearings and... are where... <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to move. Get all the kit, food, How everything. Is this place? <laughs> and then start again. Get the rods out and leave them out all day. Yeah? yeah? Cool. Gemma wants to catch a fish, didn't you? Yeah. So, the more rods in the water, the more chance. Let's go. You don't like it here either, do you, this spot? No, but I just don't get the right <laughs> feeling. This is f***ing rank, agreed, but let's I don't go. actually get a good vibe at all. All right, let's go. Do you? Right, wife. Yes. Ever heard of a chod rig before? N naked chod. Hey. I'm watching my YouTube, haven't I? That's what we're about to use, right? Because okay. it's very weedy. So I'd like you to walk down to the water's edge and I'll show you how they work. Okay. <laughs> right, that's a chod rig. Pick yep. it up, grab the leader, and pick it up. Yeah. Don't let the hook touch the bottom. Lift it up out the water. Yep. Right now, swing it out and watch how it sinks. Okay. Oh, it comes up to, it's on the top. And then it slowly so it goes the down. That's it. Okay. What do you reckon? Edgy? Edgy. Right, so just crumbled up some boilies, or broke them into sort of halves and quarters. And these will sit much better over the weed than 24 mil baits straight out of the bag. Obviously being round and heavy, they'll drop through the weed much easier. So broken baits and a few handfuls of this lot over the top of the chods will be nice out there, I reckon. All right, we're almost ready, Jim. All right, so in case the GoPro lets us down, you can see that there, that You've got the thick red line, that's the bottom. On top of it, you've got a chunk of yellow and then you've got blue. That yellow is thick weed, forms like a carpet, really, really good for chod rigs. So that's what we're going to fish over. Are you very close? Old wifey, you've just got to get the rod out. <laughs> okay, I'm ready to drop. Hang on. Shall I drop it here? Not yet, I've got to oh. sort the GoPro out. I've got to film it, obviously. Look, she's mastered the art of holding the rod now. Looking like a pro. Yeah. Right, the rod's out. Poxy GoPro ran out, didn't it? Yeah. It's on now. But Gemma has just lowered a rig into a hole in the weed. Yes. Very well done. Thank you. So we've now got two out. The other rod is uh, back on the other spot where it was before. And you've got one out in the middle, haven't you? Good area, that. I reckon that's a bite, that one. Yeah, definitely. And a big hole. Big hole. Yeah, I was, I, I, hopefully you saw the screen. I was trying to film it on this little thing, but they're just a bit temperamental. So yeah, ran out of battery, but now works again. Good old GoPros. I'm sure everyone how far I've come. Yeah. Gems. Touching it now. I'm converted fisherwoman. Breaking up the boilies, good old girl. It's taken quite a long time to do it, but she is doing it. <laughs> Look, stop moaning at me. You just said a guy at me a minute ago. Oh, these are big ones. Keep going, hon. Slave labour. I understand you, you lot find this enjoyable. Don't say that. What do you mean, don't say that? Like I said, I thought it was going to be sitting in my bivvy all day. You will be soon. This is the last this, rod. Oh, God, we've been out here hours. What's the time now? Well, it don't normally half take this Half ten. Now. You wake me up at half five. When I imagine filming a Brexit, it is going away to a sunny country, laying there on my bed chair in a bikini, doing nothing but catching the rays. And um, a carp. And a carp. Yeah, of course, and a carp. Many. Many carp. I've only got three rods out, just. You made me move. Made me, I've had to go back to the car. I've had to do everything. <laughs> and everything takes five times as long because you're involved. 
but that's fine. Yeah, it is. It's also half 10, I'm hungry. Hangry. You don't really know how to tie your rigs yet? No. You ain't gonna be the one cooking? No. You're not driving, I can assume? No. Will you take turns driving? If yeah. If falls asleep? Yeah, for an hour or so. I'm not really bringing much to the table, am I? <laughs> We've got four rods out. I say we, Gemma has got four rods out. All by herself, she's done them. And has now earned herself a little bit of sunbathing on my bed. Are you going to catch one? Yeah. Good on answer. Third rod. I like your sunglasses, by the way. Cheers, hun. Do I look really cold? Yeah. Sun is out. It's a lovely day. Still yet to see a carp, but my mate said to me that he rarely saw him here in the day either, so all about the evening. So we'll just keep watching this expanse of water. Hopefully at some point we will see a carp. I think we'll do all day here, probably start her again in the morning because Gemma doesn't want to move. She's being very lazy now. I've been busy. She's been busy apparently. She has been quite busy to be fair. Do you feel like you want to stay in the same place and wait it out on a particular lake for a big one, or are you quite happy to go with the flow as it was and flit up between different destinations if you had to? So I've been prepped by many people. Elliot does like to move about a lot. He's quite impatient. Um, like we've mentioned before, he's quite turbo. So. I'm gonna follow his lead. Like, I don't mind moving about, but if it's raining, oh, I don't fancy that. Maybe I'll just stay put. Hopefully I can make some decisions while we're out there, but I suppose I've got to leave it down to the boss. Right, it's got Jim on the end here. I've just been over here for a look at around in the boat. She's had a bite while I'm not here. How are you getting on, babe? Oh, well, that really does. Like what you've been seeing on. Is it pulling back? No. Right. How, how fast are you reeling that rodding? She probably should be in by now if it's not. It even going. Is it? I don't even think it's tightening. Is it even tightening? <laughs> the clutch is still really loose. <laughs> so. Why are you in the I forgot to tell you to tighten the clutch up. Oh, hang on. Never done this before. Right, hang on. Is this recording? Yeah. Is this? Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck is this? Because she's still on the phone. Click it off mine. Right, what do I do now? Right, hang on. Real. Real. Right. Oh, that's better. Rod under your arm. Oh, shut up. Rod under your arm like that. I'm trying, it's too heavy. What did the bite do? Did it, was it taking line or anything? It moved, yeah. It done that. Didn't you heard it, didn't you? Yeah. Is it actually tightening this? Yeah. Time? Hang on, you've got backwind on. Go on. What does that mean? Did it actually just do anything? No, yeah. There's nothing on the end of it, I don't think. No. Go on, just keep reeling. <laughs> what a joke. So you took my food and I didn't even catch it? <laughs> <laughs> How annoying is that? <laughs> watch out, watch your face. <laughs> Take it then. No, what, you're holding it, don't attack yourself with it. I didn't. Right, get it back out in the water. Jesus. <laughs> what a joke. Which of the two is more competitive? Well, I've never seen Gemma in a competitive, saying that Gemma's competitive as well, to be fair. Um, she's, she likes to be as right as Elliot likes to be right, so. 47 pound, now is that bigger than Bridget's? I think so, I think his PB is about 44 pound. Maybe I should play it down a little bit, let's say 41, I think his was. So anything above that, I'll take. 
Right, walk well, this way, babe, and then get in the boat. Right, go on, pass me the rod, you just jump in the boat. Pass me the rod, jump in the boat. Right, hang on. So really, oh, you haven't got anything. Try and spin round so you're facing the other end of the boat. So you're facing that way. Yeah, go on, and your other leg. Keep, now wind, 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 Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. You've got to gather loads of line now. Right, I'm going to just try and get us over this. Right, you okay? Is it actually winding? I feel like I'm just spinning. We've got another rod out still, yeah. Just keep turning, keep it tight, and you'll pull us towards it if you need to. Without the boat. That's it, keep, keep faster, 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 faster. Right, keep going. That's it, keep going. It's dodgy because there's a snag there. Right, okay. That's it, keep going, keep going. You really need to stop putting your rod like that. I can't, I need to balance it. I'm not strong enough to just hold it with my fucking You are hand. strong enough, baby. Everyone's strong enough. Kids are strong enough. You are strong enough. Trust this me. This is a big fish. I'm not doing anything at the moment. What do you mean I'm not doing anything? I've got a fish on the end. Right, don't go too crazy. Is it tight still, yeah? Is it, keep going, keep going. I'm gonna go faster. Try put the rod up and not underneath your arm. Right, tell that's me it. how to right, hold that's it. That's it, like that, under there. That's it, brace it. Right, I'm gonna turn this off right now. It's all you now. So Pretty just, right, so what you're gonna need to do is, yeah. keep your rod tight like that, just yeah. pull. Right, when it goes slack, so you go down with it and then pull. Okay. Right. So this is now me? Yeah, that's you. Pulling the fish in? Yeah. Ah. Go on, keep going. I think I just saw it. I don't know if I did or not. Is there any direction I need to be pulling him in away from a snag or No, just going? keep doing what you're doing. I don't know where he is. There's every chance he's in the weed. Right. He's good at eh? Yeah. Hang on. Right, wait. Where are you, fishy? Oh, hang on. It's a bit slack. It's in that bit there. Yeah. Right, so oh. you've got to pull. Right, just keep a steady pressure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it, keep going. It's still there, keep going. Yeah. And then just pull, steady pressure. Can you see him? No, I can, I can feel him though. Yeah, here we go, right. Can you come in? Hang on. Yeah, it's in. Right, hang on. Oh, you're like pushing me off at home. Just keep, You just pull, okay? Just yeah. not too hard, you just need to pull. You, you just got to pull him out of that weed. I feel it moving definitely. Oh god, so can you keep doing 360? Right, turn, hang on. Why do you keep doing that, babe? Turn the boat, turn, turn, turn round towards me. That's it, hang on. Spin round towards me. Spin round this way, so you're, so you're facing the back of the boat. Okay. I'm worried this GoPro's gonna run out of battery. <laughs> Right. Oh, come on, fishy. That's it. That's it. Oh. Yeah, look, there he is. Oh. That's it. Oh, right, that's it. <laughs> right. Hold the reel properly. I'm How I showed it. you. You didn't even have it in your hand. Okay. That's it. Where is he? Down there. Let me just check that. Yeah, that's all right. That's him. He's, out. he's coming out now. Right, he's down here now. Right, just keep the pressure oh, on him. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Other rods going. Oh. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right, that's it. Just play him. Let him do his thing. Right, right, right. You're doing what I told you not to do. What's that? You've got the rod under your armpit. Right. Oh, he's a good fish, babe. Right. right. That's it. And just check that clutch. See him. That's it. Keep him there. Oh, stay here. Oh, oh this ain't good. 
Huh? That's all right. Is he angry? Yeah, he's angry, yeah. Oh, God. Hang on, no, 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 just do it all. Try and do it with a rod. So you just use your rod to... He's right under the boat, so I can't do anything at the moment, all right? Yeah. All right. He's coming down. Yep, yeah, still down into the weed. All right, so just keep your steady pressure on. Yeah. This is definitely recording, isn't it? Yeah. Look at him burrowing down there. Come back. Right, when he goes left... Oh, yeah. Right, that's it. Keep the pressure on, keep the pressure on. Right. I'm trying to get us away from this weed, you see, which ain't easy. So I don't know when you're pulling or not. Pulling real bad. Right. Get out of space. Okay, hang on. But you've got to be pulling, like there's no pressure, look. There's no pressure, you're not putting any pressure I'm on it. I'm trying to figure out which way you're going. Right. You're spinning hang on, just keep in there, just keep in there. Oh, what? Right, there. keep that there. Oh, just missed him. Right, right, keep him there. Got him, got him. Yes, Gemma! <laughs> oh my god, that's my outfit! <laughs> yeah, High five! Oh, I can't, I can't, put the rod down, you can put it down, put it down, put it down. <laughs> oh. Right, I'm gonna tell you now, it's not 46 pounds. No, I know that. But. We'll have to start somewhere. That's a bloody we? good start, though. Chunky. Yep, that'll do. He's big. He's big. Yeah. Do you reckon I've got a new PB? I reckon you have. <laughs> <laughs> that is quality. We were just moved. What was I saying? I we feel literally like we could get just went to. We just moved all the key. I was just saying to Jen, do we move? Do we not? Do we sit it out here? I feel like we could get one here. And we have. So we've got half the kit in a different swim. <laughs> Half it in this swim. Sorry, half of it in our swim we're in now. I'm actually buzzing. Where are we going to go? What are we going to do now? <sighs> Don't know. Catch a bigger one. Let's go weigh him. Look at him. Fucking go on, Gemma. You not want to come with us. No. You actually <laughs> did really well there. Oh, oh, thanks. Now you give me some. Yeah, but I have to be like that because... You've got algae on your face. <laughs> I just really didn't want it to fall off and if it got too deep in that weed, it could have. Lucky my rig's are good. Go on! Being out in a boat with Jen, watching her play that carp was really tense. One of the most tense moments I've had in my fishing. There was so much riding on this trip. It was the first carp she'd hooked. And I'm out in the boat. I'm trying to control the boat with my left hand. I'm trying to net the fish with my right. I've got a GoPro on my head. I'm trying to teach her how to hold a rod or reel. You know, she's never done any of this before. So I wanted her to land the fish so much um, that when she did, you know, I was absolutely buzzing, as you could probably tell. But she still had to hold it yet. Camp is all packed down. Yep. But you are holding a net. <laughs> with a calf in it. What was that like? Um, really tough, but good. Oh God. I'm drifting away. Oh God. Do you want me no. I can't, I've got my fish. I'm not risking losing him. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather lose you than my fish. Tough, but what? Um, but really exciting. It was a good, like, adrenaline rush. But yeah, it was hard and you really shouted at me. Yeah, I'm sorry. But I done it all by myself. You did. I'm shaking so much, this boat's going to disappear. <laughs> <laughs> well done. I'm just going to really weigh in for you, all right? So. Oh. 32, I'm going to say. Oh, we'll do that again, do it again. That's actually 32. Yeah, 32 pound. Oh. There we go. Well done, Gemma. Right. Right, all I need you to do is kneel down. Yep. Just hold him there for me, all right? Okay, if he flips, just keep pressure there and don't panic, all right? Just gonna adjust the camera for the pictures. Lift him up. 
That's it, sit back on yourself. Now try and lift him. Arms by your side, elbows by your side. Okay. That's it. Okay. Right, now lift him with your arms, like Hang that. On. Use your biceps, lift him up. <laughs> lift him up. Yeah, he's up, he's up, he's up. Hold on, keep going. Keep going, keep going. He's up, he's up, he's up. <laughs> now sit, your, sit, on, sit back a little bit lower on yourself. That's it. Please don't flip me, please don't flip me. All right, ready? There you go. Yes, Jim. <laughs> I'm so scared. He's gonna go, he's gonna go. Lift him up a bit. Lift him up, lift him up. Lift him up higher. Yes, look at it. My first fish. Oh, it's gonna go. Please don't. Please don't do that. Stay there. Oh. Well. What do you reckon to that? That was hard work, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> lift his head up a bit. And then sit, sit your back up straight. <laughs> a little bit higher. Oh, babe, 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 you need to just hurry up now because you're taking ages. There we go. Here's my fishy. Kiss. Nah. Well done. All right, it's really heavy. Let's put him back quick. Come on. Oh. Okay. Right, let's get him back in the water. I want to get my rod out. Yeah. Oh, pictures ready. <laughs> Big old smile again. Hold him up a bit, can you? Oh, here he is. Right. 32 pounds of him. One last hoist. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> go on, let him go. Let him go here okay. to the first of me. Can you get a picture of me and let him go? I, I want one of him going into the water. On the GoPro. Oh, okay. <laughs> Come on. Ready. Let him go. Come on, babe. Oh, it's so cool. Still there, look. He wants to stay with me. Now I've got to do the... Now you're supposed to get a bucket of water over your head, Yeah, really. but can we just pretend I did? Huh? Can we just pretend I did, so... Yeah, let's do a little one. Ah! <laughs> <Crazy>. <laughs> Dickheads! <sighs> oh! Well, you wanted to pretend. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, you are actually cross. Oh, genuinely. It's hardly a splash, was it? It was a splash. We can watch it back. It's on film. <laughs> Oh, really? Are you that angry? Yeah, really. Oh, God. Look at the state of me. You look beautiful, always. Shut up, Elliot. Mm. have to teach Bridger this, won't we? Yeah. yeah, I have to teach Bridger. So slide that on there. That's it. Yeah, how far down? Right, that's step one. Just keep that there, like that. Yeah. Right, step two. What are your main assets or attributes? What are you helping towards? <laughs> um, because it seems a bit one-sided <laughs> the further we go into this conversation. Yeah, it is. I'm not really bringing much to the table at all. Um, great company, excellent sense of humour. And that is probably about it. Yeah, that's a good point. I'm not bringing anything to the table at all. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Al. Right, so throw one out the other side. That's it. Right, push it all the way down to the bottom of the needle. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Right, now get the upper boilie. Yeah. And then same again. So you're going to go through that one. Make sure it's nice and central, though. I think it is. Doesn't look it to me. But... That's all right. Yeah, all right, we'll get away with that. Yeah. Right, put it all the way down. That's it. Oh. Yeah. Now, the, now the pink one. To the thing? No, that'll do, yeah. To about there, yeah? Yeah. Right, now I'm going to put a hair stuff on. So, yeah, so a yellow thing through the loop. That's it. Like that. Yeah, and just use the bait. Is it through? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah, that's good to know. Okay, 
So that's it. Right, now push the brown one down against the pink one. Keep going. Yeah. Happy days. What are we going to catch on this? Am I going to catch my 46 pound? One ounce. One ounce fish on this? I hope so. Let's get it in the water and see, shall we? Yep. You won't catch nothing with it hanging there, darling. Oh, that's a GoPro turning off. Right, let's do it. Go, 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 go. Jim really started to pick things up quite quickly, which was good to see. You know, a little bit less stress for both of us. And, you know, as time went on, she was getting better and better at it. And the fishing we're doing, it's not easy. You know, you're out in the boat. I'm not the most patient of people at the best of times. And timing is everything when you're in a boat. But yeah, she was picking it up quicker and quicker as the time went on. And that was really good to see. Swing it that way. And then start reeling backwards. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Perfect, like, like that way. Lay the lead. That's it. If I'm honest. Did you just, turn that back on? Just, yeah, yeah. Just lift it back up again. What? No, I want it there. Sure? That's all right, yeah. yeah. Right. That felt good. Go on then, throw your bait in. Hang on, wait, wait, wait. Turn this, that's it. Right, throw your bait in. Do it together, I'll get it in quick. Right, there's a park in there as well. Go on, Andrew. Go on, put your hand in. Right. That's it. Right, back lead. Right, so we're going to take us this way. Right, keep the line, put your yeah. rod that way. I'm going to try not to argue back with him or have a domestic, but like I said, he's just got to have patience with me. I know what Elliot can be like, and I know from other people's experiences, what he can be like going abroad with. So yeah, it's gonna work. It's got to work both ways. I'd held my nerve pretty well throughout the session. Didn't lose my temper too much. And it ain't easy and I understand that, especially for someone like Gemma who's not done this before. So throughout the most part, everything was good. But there was one occasion where we were out in the wind, it was raining and I wanted her to get a rig onto this most tiniest of gravel spots. It was. I say tiny, it's probably 18 inches wide by four foot, something like that. And that was stress. And on that occasion, I did lose my temper a little bit. And I should apologize for that now. James just been through a bit of an ordeal. You we, just we, pushed me. We just lowered a rig onto a tiny little spot. Oh, and that was hell. Elliot was shouting at me the whole time. It's because you've asked me 50 times what the bail arm is. And I've told you every time. No, you were getting the arm because I couldn't get it in no, the right I wasn't. spot. No, I was not, because it's hard to do. Were. Listen back no, to the order. No, I wasn't getting the arm. However... You then pushed me out the boat on the way back. It's disgusting. <laughs> we'll dry it out. I've got a plan, don't worry. In other news, um, fancy a barbecue? Yes, feed me. Mm. Yeah, OK. So I reckon right and rod's going to go again before yeah, the furthest right. dark. Definitely. And the left rod, it's in the right area, but the spot we've put it on, if I'm honest, don't hold much hope, but it's hard to see when it losing it's light. maximum effort. Yeah, you never know though. It's presented well, so if a carp swims past it, there's no reason why it won't eat. Yeah. Just, I think we'll put it somewhere better tomorrow. But we've got two in that area now, haven't we? And that was your idea, wasn't it? It was all my idea. You must be a natural angler, because that is the edge. You catch one from one area, move yeah. another rod close. So you got it in you somewhere. Yeah. Must get it from me. Mm. Must do. So we're going to have a celebratory glass of wine. Mm. Yep. In our mugs. <laughs> In our dirty old tea mugs. Sorry about that. It's alright. Next time we'll have to remember. 
Yeah, next person. time you need to remember to bring plates, knives, forks, that kind of thing as well. I do? Why yeah, you were going to bring them, remember? Remember I packed a thousand things and you packed none? OK, let's not, let's not all shout at Gemma Day. Any more? Practice over, shall we? Yeah. I'll get the mugs. All right, the ball. <laughs> Classic. Tell you what, I can't grumble that, babe. In fact, I can grumble because mine's on a bucket because of you. Do you want to use my no. salt? How's yours? Really good. Steak, mm -hmm. mushroom rice, asparagus, beans, and tender stem broccoli. Tell that time. Hurry up, because you've got my knife and fork. <laughs> chop, chop. Eat faster, come on. Get it down, you. Just had a bleep on the uh, right hand rod as well. The carp rod. You know what it's like as carp anglers? When it's dinner time, the carp will always ruin it. No doubt Gemma will finish her dinner. And then as I'm about to start eating mine, the rod will go. Beep, 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 beep. Chop, chop, Gemma. Yeah. Push that down onto there. That's it, not all the way. Just enough. Yeah, it's fine. Yep, sweet. Yeah. And the back load goes on after it's all here. Yep. Yeah. Right, hold it up, tighten the clutch up. All the way. Yep. Yeah. Right, now hang out over the side. So hit the rod up high. So when I let go of the lead, it's not near the boat. That's it. All right? Do you want to mind a little bit? Oh, is it better for you? Yeah. What? So it's interesting to see how much bait's there, because I put 10 key out last night. Yeah. Two whole bags, so... We put five key out the first night. Mm -hmm. It was all gone by morning, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't mind betting this is all going to be gone as well. And I pretty much dumped it all where you're fishing. I did put some back in that hole, but most of it is uh, exactly where you were fishing yesterday. Hungry little carp. Yeah. Okay. Every single boilie is gone. It's mental. Just been absolutely walloped. a lot of bait that just could be like just gone <coughs> yeah. no it's falling on the bait look bait goes straight on the lead you've got, to, you've got it's got to go in on the as it as it goes down yeah. look so as it goes down yeah. you put it and you just go like this with your rod slightly yeah just to keep the bait to the side do you know right, what i mean okay, okay. just gives it that separation so get out of the water again right Right, so down there, then just down here. Don't hold it like that. Why are you holding the reel like that? Perfect. Now reel backwards, reel backwards, reel backwards, reel backwards. All right, now open the bail arm. Right, let's go back. Oh, well done, darling. Oh, what's wrong? You. What? You're not very kind. I am kind. You're not kind. Where are you going to catch in that one? Um, 46 pounds. 46? Yeah. <coughs> I'm hoping for like 58. 
Why are you hoping below what I need? 58 is not below 46, is it? Oh. Uh, below. All right, yeah, 58 is good. How is it going to end? Divorce or? Real backwards, real backwards, real backwards, real backwards, real backwards. Now fill it down. Yep. Open the bell on quickly. Wind backwards, wind backwards, wind back. Oh. You've got to remember to do that, bub. Okay. Same every time. It's falling vertically down. You're not swinging it and getting it like, you're not doing the, sw it's because it's deep water, the lead and the rig is going to be on top of each other. You know how we're getting a separation over there? You're not going to be getting that. And you need that really. So you have a longer line. A long line and use the rod. And you, look, you just do momentum of the lead and then just swing it. And he wants to go down like that. Yeah, so and it, you want to go quickly. Lift it up, lift it up, lift it up. But that's what you've got to do. You want to swing it off the back and then reel as quick as you can. Yeah. Keep your rod high, just reel as quick as you can. Okay. Hang on. Go on. Then. then swing. It's really, really nearly doing it. Oh, oh babe. So real backwards. I could, this could be my new hobby, couldn't it? Imagine this. Imagine if you found your new love for it. fishing, and then all of a sudden, Gemma's got a Burfield ticket. Could you imagine? The Can't, tables have turned. Yeah, Elliot's at home now yep. with the kids, and you're away four nights fishing. Maybe this is why he's never took me before. Yeah. In case I get addicted like he is. I don't know what we're gonna do. Gemma Gray, <laughs> carp angler. Only time will tell. <laughs> what would be um, your Instagram? What would be your Instagram account if you had a carp fishing? It ain't gonna be life of the greys anymore, is it? It'll be yeah. BC Gemma Gray. <laughs> Gemma Gray the BC. <laughs> Sounds so weird. It's never gonna happen. It's fine. Have you picked out your attire? Um, no. I bought myself a waterproof jacket and I don't really have anything that's like carpy colours. Can't really be rocking up in... A white North Face t-shirt. <laughs> and jeans. <laughs> um, no, I haven't really thought this through, I'm not going to lie. I'm more worried about what I'm going to take toiletry-wise and how I'm going to look after myself when I'm away. The weather is slightly worrying me. I'm not going to lie. It's worrying the dream. Is there any chance of the weather playing a part on you leaving early? Would you give up on this expedition? Let's say we got two days in and the weather become too much or you, you become too dirty. <laughs> There's no shower for miles. Would you, would you call it? No, not a chance. You'd stay to the very end. Yeah, I'm not giving up. I have to come home catching a bigger carp than Bridger. I have to. I'm not coming home until I do. <laughs> well, I mean, I do have to because I've got kids, but yeah, it's got to be done. All right, Gem's got the breakfast done. Yep. Rods have been out probably an hour or so, hour and a half now, maybe. A few scares from belly boat anglers fishing for bass and whatnot, but I think we're all good now. Certainly be good after we eat some food, but I am actually pretty hungry. So are you, aren't your wife? Yep. I need feeding. Which I grumpy she is today, look. You can sense it in her. Yeah, I hate him so. He shouted at me and I was trying to put my rod down. I was really trying hard. Elliot was being horrible. <laughs> I wasn't. Weren't you? No. Gemma cooking, there is of course the potential that this is our last ever meal on the earth that we live on right now. But it does look pretty good. You're really brave. Go away. The rods are in slightly different areas today. So these two here, the right in one is on the spot that I baited last night, same spot we fished yesterday, but the left is on a different spot and then sort of the same over here on the right. So right hand rod is back where she caught the carp from, but the left is on a new spot as well. So we're mixing it up a little bit. And hopefully one of the four will catch Gemma another carp. Wind's turned a bit today. So where I'm looking now, sort of back of the wind, 
obviously it's completely flattened off now, but 10 minutes ago it was raining and it was really pushing down sort of towards this corner, which is ideal because obviously that's where we caught the fish from. So it's looking good. I'm confident and hopeful all at the same time. What do you reckon, wife? Gonna catch one today? Yeah. Yeah? Yep. Let's hope so, eh? I've got faith in you. Rods are all sweet, so there's nothing more we can do. Other than you be nice to me. Oh, sorry, other than that. No, go on, say that again. What did you just say? I said, if you're both comfortably in love with each other, you can f the people. Yeah. That better be a bloody bite, mate, after that comment. Yeah. Really? Get up. Yeah, quick. I mean, quick. It's not a fucking bite. It's not it a bite. It's taking mine. No, you did a bite at my shoe. What? What are the fucking chances of that? The GoPro's fallen over somehow. Pick it up. Pick the rod up. Quick. Oh. Tighten the clutch, remember? What does that mean? Tighten a bit on top of the spool. All the way, all the way, all the way, all the way, all the all way. All right. Now what do I do? Reel. Put the all rod, the way in? Put the all the way over there? Put the rod button in your waist and stop reeling. Get on with it. All the way over Come Just get the on boat. with it, Gem. I am. It's not stop far out. at me. It is very far out, actually. There's nothing on the end of it. I'm just going to get my drill. Hang on, it is on the end, isn't it? No, there's nothing on the end of it. It must be, it's taking line. What does that mean? It's taking line off the clutch. The GoPro had fallen over in the wind, so... Okay, there is someone on the end of it. Is it pulling back? Yeah. Can we not go out in the boat and get Wait, it? Is it trying to pull you? It doesn't, I don't think it's a cart, babe. Well, what the f*** is it then? Ouch. I don't know, but... I don't think it's a carp, because... He's trying to run away. Ow. He's not coming in. Oh. Ooh. Is it...? L, can we go in the boat? Yeah? Yeah, because I'm going right. to go in with it otherwise. Hang on, hang on, let me get the boat. I can't believe we missed the bite. That's really annoyed me. The GoPro's falling over, look. Got it on my phone. Oxy f thing. Did you? Well, yeah, I was filming you. Right, saying you want to force them. <laughs> oh, I'm getting a wet ass. Huh? I said, oh, I'm getting a wet ass. Right, reel the line. You want to be face it. I tell you what, no, it's all right. Okay. Stay like that because when we get there, I'll reverse up to it. Just keep reeling the line in. Go on, pull. Nice bit of pressure on it. Just get, yeah, it's all right, just carry on. You just keep reeling. Pull down to that, just gently. Just gentle pressure, don't go mad. It might be a carp, you know. Go on, let me have a little quick go. Oh. Can you see down there? No. Big ball of weed down there. I reckon it's snagged on something. I'm not actually sure there's anything attached to it. Right, hang on. Hold that rod. I need the I need the line in my hand. Get me, get me the line. Just get on with it, yeah. I can't wait. Come move it. Fucking massive ball of weed. Look. I just 
don't know if there's anything beneath it. There might be a fish beneath it, you see. There might not. Whatever it was is gone. Took too long fanning around getting out your bed, didn't you? No, I fucking did it. I told you I didn't feel like there was anything to it. It was taking line, so it definitely was. Never mind. Probably not a carp. Lead still on, so unlikely it was a carp. Ah, rain. <laughs> How you feeling? Annoyed. Why? I'm now getting wet and there's nothing on the end of it. I've got a big ball of bloody weed. I told you that wasn't a fish. It was. A fish of some kind. It Just, wasn't. It was, babe. It wasn't. I've finished my sausage roll. I can't believe the GoPro fellow has really upset me, that is. This could be an ongoing series because if once Gemma has caught a bigger carp than me, I'm going to catch a bigger carp than Jim. So, see how it pans out. Is it gone? Little bastard. Here it comes. Oh, how annoying is that? Yeah, I don't know. God knows what that was. It's taking line though, wouldn't it? Proper. Right, you're not allowed back to sleep now. Now you've got two rods not in the water because all you want to do is fucking sleep. Yeah, because of you. So we're going to get these back out, all right? Come on. We're here to go to bed. Mate, you're turbo. Go on, to the tent. What if what? I don't catch a big fish? <laughs> what you got to be nervous about? Well, I don't know. I feel like the expectation is quite high. Or maybe I'll just put that on myself. Yeah, you baby, hook won't rust now. Doing all the jobs, isn't you? Yeah, well, it's all part of the deal. All right, now very carefully put the hook down. Well done. Oh, freaks. Oh. Let's get him out. Oh. Move him out of the way well, now. Has, has rain, you it? literally just poured it on me rather than yourself because you're selfish? Let's say you didn't catch this time. Would you go back and try again? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. The, the trip will be continued. <laughs> Hopefully not, though. Hopefully I'll catch one within the what four days. What about if you do catch? Would you go back again? Gemma, BC Gemma has got the bug. She's going back to France. Euro trips. BC Gemma, uh, ask me next week. We'll come back next week and we'll see how the trip actually went. <laughs> if my marriage survived. <laughs> <laughs> You're holding the rod properly now. It's because I'm a fisherwoman. Yeah, Am I ready I to go? On yet. Just done it? Yeah. Yeah? Shall I go? Yeah, swing it out. Do it backwards, do it backwards, do it backwards, do it down. Yeah. Do you reckon? Yeah. Happy? Yeah, over the barrel. Done. Yeah? Yeah. Reckon that's alright? Yeah. Okay. Yeah? Do you right, should we bait up the spot a bit? Yeah. Okay. Right, well done. Go on in, put the bait in. Oh, Jesus. Put the bait on my turn? Yeah, I've done it. Look, ready? Sweet, go on in. Yeah. Right, it's one of the iron 
Don't be afraid to help. I'm not gonna lie, you're a bit of a pro now. Wow. Young, what can I say? Get out of this disgusting boat. Oh. No, loose still, it wants to be loose. Why does it need to be too loose? Need it a little bit tighter than it is, don't it? Just so the fish can pull line off a bit. Is that alright though? Mm, I'll finish it off, but yeah, well done. Hang on, I need to put my little thingy on. It's only me. Tell me what's on your mind. I've already told you I'm not talking to you. <laughs> Why? Because you're horrible. Again, Elliot, every time we get in that boat, you turn in to nasty Elliot. Oh. That was stressful out there. Stressful? You need to just learn how to drive a boat. You need to learn to listen. I do listen. You don't? I do. All I can do is try my best. And improve your listening. Elliot, you need to improve your patience. <laughs> I don't have well, any patience, you, have you no know that. You no teaching skills, that's what you don't have. I'm not a teacher. But this is, you're meant to be a teacher on this trip. Right. You're my a, tutor. What's a teacher's worst nightmare? A bad student, which I am not. When the students don't listen. Elliot. Don't start. But anyway, I'm not talking to you, so... I'm going to have a bite in about an hour, so I'll talk to you then. Alright. <laughs> Alright, deal. Bye. So this is how we've had our weather and for the rest of the week it is just pure sunshine. Look at that, 33, 34 degrees. <laughs> That's ridiculous isn't it? I'm fuming. We're going to have to come back next week. We may as well stay, aren't we? Rather than go home and then come back the same week. Well, yeah. <laughs> Could do. But that is ridiculous. You can't predict the weather, darling. Well, technically you can, I suppose, with that weather. Nice. <laughs> Don't know what she's on about. Lovely out there. Right, see you. Oh, I'm f***ing GoPro again. For f***'s sake. I've got a feeling it's not a carp. Right, sit sideways in the boat, because I'm going to sit, on the, sit sideways facing me. I'm going to spin the boat round. Right, turn this way. Right. Real, 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 real. Is that the right way? Yeah. Quick. All oh, right, stop doing it. My bracelet's got stuck. Oh, you're stressing me out. You're not concentrating, babe. I am, you're, you're not, literally you're shouting really. at me. Right, real. You were just going to turn me around a 360. A little bit pop. Yeah, it's pinged off the weed. The line is in the weed. Right, just, just be careful. That's all right, just keep, you just carry on doing your thing, yeah. It's either a carp or a catfish, I reckon, because he's taking line on that, so don't rest out on okay. there again, remember? Oh. There it is. Right, hang on. That's right, let him take line, let him take line. Whoa. What does that mean? That's it, let him do his thing. He's angry. Brilliant. That's a catfish. Oh, yeah. catfish. It's a catfish. Right. <laughs> These are hideous things. Christ. And they fight really hard. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now you go down. Right, and then pan back on the rod here. And then just, so you're playing it with your hand on the rod. Right. See? Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Right, so what'd you write into the catfish, Jim? It's disgusting. <laughs> it's really disappointing because that was really hard to reel in. And what? it's that thing. Are you outright refusing to hold it, yeah? Yeah, I don't want to hold it. I'm going to let him free. Okay. Are you going to unhook it? No. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not going near that mouth. You see the size of it? That'll gobble me up. <laughs> all right, let me put the waders on. I'll unhook it, all right? Okay. Hang on, show him, though. Show how big he is. All right, put the rod down. We'll do it. It's 
put the rod down, open up the net. He's so slimy. I think they sometimes hold him like that. Oh. There you go. All right. Go on. Off you go. Hideous. And I'm getting wet from away, that's great. <laughs> so we're looking for a 47 pound common to make Gemma happy. Let's say 42. 42. I'm gonna go oh. 42. I see, I see. Just a little bit Just, further. Yeah, give myself a little bit of leeway there. Yes, yeah, so let's say 42 pounds. Right, I am motoring to Gemma. I was at the van, unloading all the kit, so we ain't got to do true trips in the morning. She's had a bite. I've got a feeling it's not a carp, but it is on the right hand rod where we saw carp earlier. Still got me platting, look, that she, <laughs> she did for me a, a little while ago. I don't know what's going on here. I've got a feeling she's got it in now. Looks like it, but I'll catch up in a minute. Well, I just caught that all by myself. There he is. And here comes Elliot. A bit late now. Never mind. I'm a pro. There you go, it's a tench. Oh. Landed all by herself. Well done. Thanks. Right, we're moving in a second. This will be the last fish we catch on this swim. Had all the species. Oh, catfish tench. We were really rushing against the light by this stage and in the new swim, the type of fishing we were doing was even more complex. There were vast walls of weed that came almost to the surface. Amongst those were gravel spots and the idea was to position the rigs at the back of the gravel spots and then a back lead our side of it so that the line would run from the rig at the back of the spot along the gravel and then from that back lead it would come up and over the weed. Now, that sounds a lot simpler than it is when the light is fading. Gemma's doing it, or most of it, and you know I'm really stressing to get all these rods in position for the time available we had that day. But we had to do it because if you didn't get the back leads in place in the right position, your line would run from the rig up vertically to the wall of weed and you'd have a laser beam running straight through the centre of the spot. So we couldn't have that, and you know that did not make getting the rods out easy. Right, so I want you to do that, right? Yeah. But when you do it, I need you to bring the rod sort of slightly on the angle so it doesn't go down vertical. It just sort of, on the last bit, just as it's falling, as you feel like it's probably going to hit the bottom, just be bringing the rod that way a little bit. Okay. Okay? Keep Hang on. I feel like I'm taking us off the spot here. All right, go on then. So. Yeah. Now follow it the rod and bring it this way a little bit as you do it. Yeah, done. Right. Open, open, wind backwards, wind backwards, wind, oh, wind backwards. Stop, that's it. Right, open that. Right, just keep, keep your line that way. Thing, the usual, yeah? Mm -hmm. Right. This is stressful because we're losing the light. Keep an eye on your rod. Really fucking stressful, but we've been here, what, 10 minutes? Rod that way, rod that way. Half an hour maybe, rod that way still. That's it. And we've just seen a carp show. Oh, f hey, look where I'm going. Sake. 
Yeah, just seen a carp show. We've got a few hours, probably not even that, probably two hours until we've got a reel in. And then we've got to get him back out again at in the morning, but we had to give it the day in the other swim, didn't we, babe? Because you caught one there, but yeah. we've half known we should have been here, and that is the sign. We've seen really in that other swim, and we've seen one already here. All right, one rod to go. Donk, yeah. No, you said donk before it even hit the bottom. It didn't, I yeah? felt it. Yeah, okay, back one then, back one. Yeah, definite. Yeah, 100%. Okay. I need to get a back lead on this. Right. Right, quick, back rod back to me so I can get the back lead. I've got to get these back leads on so I can, um, so that your line isn't going like diagonally down from the got an hour to catch a carp which we could evening is a good time especially on days only lakes what rod's it gonna be i reckon right that <laughs> is that, going? that one so slack isn't it go on pick it up yeah yeah bring it in i think hang on i guess so yeah oh. has it gone completely slack Tighten it, <coughs> Tighten it all the way up, because you have to crank that all the way up. Yes, Elliot. Remember, rod button your waist, rod button your waist. Ooh. Pull hard. <sighs> oh, is it still all over there? Yeah, it's in the weed. Oh, look at that, for a bit of weed? Yeah. <sighs> it took us ages to get that one out as well. Oh, now I've got to do it all again with you. We ain't got long left either, so let's just get it done. Jesus. We were massively against it by the final morning. Gemma hadn't got up early enough the previous couple of days, and I was up before it was light. She didn't really fancy that, but on that last morning, I said to her, you know, you have to be up. We have to get these rods out. And I think the rule on there is you're allowed to fish from like an hour before sunrise. But we got up a couple of hours before it got light and got the rods in position, you know, because we didn't have long. We'd have to be off early. And this was last chance saloon. Jen, it's wake up time now. Last day, last morning, last chance. I'm going to get the kettle on and then we're going out in that boat. Credit where credit is due, Gemma got up and did what she had to do on our last morning. We got the rods out in the pitch black. As soon as they were done, I went back to the van. I'd baited really heavily the night before and we had no bait left, so I wanted to go and get some more from the van. By the time I got back to the swim, Gemma had a massive carp in the net. She'd landed it all by herself, which was quite amazing. And better still, that wasn't going to be the only carp she would catch that morning. Right, it's bigger than the last one. Where you've just pumped him in, it's still quite likely, I think. Right, that's the other way. It's big fish. <laughs> I can't believe what's happened. Oh shit. No way. Surely not another one. This is fucking mental, she's got another one. I literally only just got the other one in. The rods have been out half an hour, is that? I see, I see. Yeah, I can see him. It's only a little one. Just keep pulling, babe, keep pulling. Keep pulling. Yes. Good. Where's it? Mental. Oh. Sorry. Little mirror. He's only small. Mental. They were on that bait, didn't they, we put out? Yeah. Fucking hell. Happy days. 
You're going to have him 10 this morning if you carry on. Oh. <laughs> Let me see him. He's like a little butcher. He's not that small. Oh, yeah, he is. He's like 20 pounder. Low to, low to mid, mid 20, 25. Let him go. Let him go. He's smaller than the one that caught yesterday, isn't he? He's what? He's smaller than both the ones you've caught, yeah. But you want to let him go? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. All right, I can do. I'll turn him and let him go if you want. Yeah. And we'll hold the big one. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe ten more if you carry on. Okay. All right, I'll let him go. You sure? Yeah. All right, I'll unhook him and then we'll just we'll let it send him on your way. He was never coming off. It's not that, <laughs> it's not even that early. Oh, it's a bird owl. No, not a chance. Oh. Mental morning. Sunrise over the back there. I cannot believe what's happened. <laughs> Look at the carnage. The two rods we got out, she's caught them both. The other two, haven't even got them out yet. But we will, we will soon. I'm going to wait for the light now because doing them in the dark was an absolute mission. Like, it really was hard. So I'm going to wait till the light's on our side. She's buzzing. She's actually gone to lay back down. So when it's light, we're getting back out for the last three or four hours. I don't know. It could be an epic morning yet. In fact, it already has been. All right, babe. This isn't fun. You okay? Having fun? It's <laughs> getting them two rods redone. We're getting back out there. It's light enough now to hopefully do it with ease. Looking forward to getting them back out? No. Okay. All right, love you. You're horrible. Quickly see how big he is, all right? Forty-two. Forty-two. Yeah? Yeah. Forty-two? 42? Yeah. <sighs> yes, Jim. <laughs> right. Right, sit down. Kiss. Go on, I've got you. Lift him up. Nice and strong. Oh, yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Go on. Does this make me big carp Gemma Grey? You are big seed Gemma Grey now, <laughs> yes. Nearly, nearly okay. got the... Oh. Try and hold him a little bit more down that way, slide around down a little bit more towards this time. That's it. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. That's it. 42 pound. Not quite the 46 we came I for. Know. This will do though. But you've done good. Cranked it in on her own. Whilst I wasn't even there. So that is a hell of an effort. <laughs> Look at the scales on him. He's mega on his other side as well. We'll show you that when we put him back. But there we go. A big carp. And exactly what we came here for. Oh, quick, I'll put him down. Well done. I'll yeah, put him down. Go on. Go on. Oh. Oh. Wow, that is heavy. Certainly one to Hold remember. Hold him up a bit if you can. Oh. Head up a bit, lift his head. Lift his head. Quick! He's going, he's going. Elle, can't lift him anymore. Uh, okay, I'm going. Quick, watch him go underwater. Hang on. God, you and your cameras. Right, are you done? Big kiss. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
Ready? It's going. Go on then, pal. Off you go, it's going. Oh. Hey. <laughs> oh, that's hard work. So, I love fishing with Elliot. You're patting me on the head like that. <laughs> I hate fishing Buzz with Elliot. In. Oh, no, no, I know how everyone else feels when they go with you. Pure hell. What are you doing? Just getting some shells. Why? To put in our shell jar. To remember oh. the worst trip ever. <laughs> They're very brown, aren't they? Okay, so did I enjoy it? Overall, yes. However, there were definitely times um, that it was testing on our relationship, shall we say. Um, it was definitely an insight into Elliot's life and yeah, it was pretty intense, very full on, but I am excited to go again. So the answer is yes. So as it stands, I haven't seen the film. I've been blocked from the software which lets me watch the film. And I've, uh, I've been asking Gemma, uh, trying to catch her off guard every day and asking her what her PB is and she still won't tell me what it is. Um, how do I think she got on? Uh, <laughs> the friend in me hopes that she caught a big one. But the honest truth of it is I don't think I'll be able to work here anymore if she catches a bigger carp than me. So there's a lot riding on this. What are we saying? I don't know, you're the one with the mic on. You're the, you're the professional now. Oh, hope you enjoyed the film, everybody. Go over to spotfee.co.uk to watch more. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. We'd very much appreciate that.